If you've been listening or watching uh, any of the videos and listening to Steve and I on the podcast for the last few years, you know Steve's a big uh, drone fan and uh, he's an even bigger GoPro fan. So I'm here with Jake, uh, let's see, Jake Bars from GoPro and it uh, looks like you've got some uh, pretty cool looking new stuff here. Yeah, hey, th uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, this is the newest member to the GoPro family, um, the GoPro Karma. Um, you can see here that it's I'm, a quadcopter. It is a quadcopter. Uh, you can see here that I'm holding the drone. It's collapsible. Both the arms and landing gear fold up and fit real nicely into the Karma backpack, which is padded and also comes with the drone. Um, the coolest part about this system is that the Karma is much more than just a drone. Um, the same stabilization that you get in the air, you also get handheld and mountable. Um, you can see here that the gimbal is modular, so it easily removes out of the drone. So he just he just pulled the gimbal off the front nose of the of the drone, and it's got a GoPro already attached to it, and he just stuck it into into a handle. Yeah, and so now I have that same level of stabilization, um, no jitter, no jello in the video, um, <clears throat> and now it's handheld. It's crazy. I mean, how could, now, I assume you pushed a lever of some sort. It doesn't come falling out, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's correct. There, so we do have a pretty awesome gimbal dampening system here. Uh, there's a few reasons why we put the gimbal on the front of the drone. Uh, the first being uh, to reduce that height so that when it does collapse down, it's, it has that sleek height that's easily fit into any backpack. Um, the other reasons being you'll never get the props in the shot with the gimbal out front here. Um, and the third reason being, you get this stabilization. So this thing will stabilize and hold its position in gusts of wind up to 35 miles an hour. Um, oh, wow. I, I got to tell people what I'm looking at. So, so this has got azimuth and elevation and, and roll, but there's also dampening inside. So you can see this. This is. Can you see that moving there, Steve? But yeah, do the bloop bloop thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of waving up and down. It's got a little dampening so yeah. that it's uh, really stable. Yeah, that's right. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a three-axis gimbal, um, really burly, um, super rugged, uh, extremely splash-proof. Um, you can see here that we are sporting the Hero 5 Black. However, uh, the Karma is uh, compatible all the way back to the Hero 3. Oh, it does. Oh, okay, great. So we can use both, because we actually do use the Hero 3 on the other quadcopter, so that oh, nice. would be pretty slick. Yeah, so... Um, Worth noting um, the design of the Karma controller. So this is our proprietary controller, no um, smartphone necessary. Um, so we got the inspiration for this design um, based off of a video game controller. Super intuitive, two joysticks, um, trigger buttons for shutter and mode, full camera control in flight. Um, this uh, dial here will actually uh, control the gimbal pitch. Um, and the screen um, is about two times as bright as the average smartphone. So even in the most severe desert conditions, you'll still have all that detail there. Um, it's also uh, designed uh, to be used with polarized glasses, so you won't get that distortion effect. Oh, fantastic. I mean, my iPhone, it's just black in one direction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, also of note is that this closes up into just a nice little compact thing. It's not got the, the display hanging off at yeah. some annoying angle with screws you got to take off. It just folds up into a little box. Yeah, uh, no dongles, no kind of, you know, we try to go minimalist on this. Um, like I mentioned uh, with the gimbal, this is also super splash proof. Um, and yeah, it's super easy to just pack up anywhere. And it's got a fashionable wrist strap, <laughs> yeah, so you so can you, swing it on your yeah, wrist, right? Exactly. But actually, yeah. really handy when you're carrying the other stuff. You oh, can take totally. that right out. Yeah, totally. So, uh, okay, keep going. Oh no, I was just going to point out um, with uh, with the grip as well. So if we go back to the grip, um, there's a couple uh, different modes that we have um, as so far you're as talking about the grip for the for the gimbal now. Yeah. So uh, you can see here. Um, Right now, we're kind of level with the horizon. So this Just is like a chicken. <laughs> this is the home position. Um, now, if you hit this pitch lock button, let's say you wanted to get that shot of a bird flying overhead, you just hold that pitch lock button and let go, and it'll actually lock that pitch until you hit this pitch lock button one more time, and then it'll return to home. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. We, you're always, it's like it's great that it's stabilized, <laughs> but no, I want to look up. I want to yeah. look up. Um, and you'll also notice, so this is. Um, 
there's a space right here. I don't have it mounted right now, the mounting ring, but you can actually mount the Karma Grip to any GoPro accessory. So um, you not only have this air, uh, you know, aerial and handheld solution, it's now mountable to any of your GoPro accessories. That's cool. Now speaking of accessories, we've probably spent about $12,000 on those so far, <laughs> but I really like that this, this whole setup comes as one thing, right? You can buy all of it together. You're not going to come back and say, oh, well, the controller's an extra dollar, whatever. It's, a, it's all included, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of stuff in one backpack for a, a really competitive price. Okay, so the drone, the controller, the, the grip, mm -hmm. the gimbal, the GoPro Hero 5, and the case together is how much? $10.99. That is a really, really good price because the... Uh, the GoPro Hero 5, I think, is like three, four hundred dollars yeah, right now. Yeah, three ninety-nine. So yeah. with the bundle, you're saving a hundred bucks on your camera. Yeah, that's crazy. So you can you can get this without the GoPro, though, if you've got the other part. If you already got the GoPro. That's right. If you're happy with your Hero 3 or 4, um, you can buy the bundle without the camera for seven ninety-nine. That's crazy. Seven ninety-nine. Oh, what kind of flight time do you get on oh, the sure. batteries? So you get up to 20 minutes flight time um, with this battery. Uh, charge time on the battery is uh, 45 minutes. Um, and then, yeah, 20, 20 minutes flight time. Um, comes with one flight battery. Um, one cool thing about our charging system, um, so if you pull the flight battery out of the drone, you can actually use it as a power source to charge your other GoPro accessories. <laughs> Um, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. You've got a battery right there, why not use it to charge the display, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, that way you can fly all day. Um, and one cool thing that I've been able to do is take really stunning time lapses using this external battery source. Um, so basically with this hooked up to the flight battery, the only thing constraining your time lapse is your SD card space. Wow, so he's, this is the battery has come out of the, of the uh, Karma quadcopter and he's now charging his GoPro and running his GoPro off of that and charging the, the uh, display. Yeah. That is a really slick system. I'm guessing people who've used GoPros and quadcopters help design this. Uh, that's for sure. Um, it just really feels like all of the friction is gone. Yeah, every, every aspect was well thought out, um, you know, from the gimbal design to the landing gear and the foldable props. Um, to even the motor tips, um, just with the ease in which you can, you know, remo remove them and replace them. Now they don't fly off like that, do they? Because uh, he's done that before too. No, no. Uh, they don't fly so good with three <laughs> props. I, I don't know if you know that. Uh, yeah, no. The uh, the centrifugal force should secure them on. Um, yeah, so that's, that's only if you put the screw on right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is karma. Uh, you got you know air, land, and sea covered in one backpack. Um, Hollywood in a backpack for ten ninety. Yeah, sea covered. Um, yeah, I mean You're with not the Hero. This is waterproof. Oh no no no! <laughs> okay. Karma is not waterproof. <laughs> okay. However, the Hero Five Black is waterproof out of the box. Yep, we used it in uh, the Galapagos, so we definitely can vouch for that one. Awesome. All right, though, thank you very much. This yeah, is fantastic. I'm very by. excited. Awesome. Thanks so much for stopping by.